Celestine Anna Mbikuluku, former procurement chairperson of the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, IBC, is among the 36 hopefuls eyeing the IBC commissioner positions. Kuluku found herself in hot soup after her ability to replace the four who resigned was questioned after procuring ballot papers in 2010 illegally. Caroline Sumer with more details. The search for additional four commissioners to join IEBC enters day 10, with the former chairperson of procurement at Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, Celestine Anambi Kiuluku, was questioned over her ability to take up the position of IEBC commissioner after a scandal she is accused of committing in 2010 during the referendum. Are you aware or are you confirming it was illegally done? The procedure, okay, let's, let's not say illegal. The procedure was not followed. Yes, it was and not followed. And you were the chair there. Yes. And what makes you feel if you come back with that legacy, you'll do any better? I'll do better because I'll be at policy level. At policy level, I'm able to implement policies which can meet the gaps which were, were there. Salim Ndemo, being the second of the three to be interviewed today, was forced to defend his credentials after the panel chair, Elizabeth Muli, found fault with one of his education degrees. Early six months later, yes. on 30th of January 2009, you then received your Doctor of Philosophy in Business Administration. Yes. So that was a bit curious. I, I, I know the kind of uh, effort and time and sweat that goes into uh, preparing and getting a PhD. Yes. So I'm curious to know how you managed to get yours in six months. Yes, madam. The, the, the very flexible uh, timetable mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that uh, it was even possible to almost do it uh, simultaneously. Retired military officer Colonel Said Kami Said, also one of the 36 hopefuls, dismissed plans to have Kenya casting votes through technology means as one of the measures to curb the spread of COVID-19. Those arrangements at the moment, I don't think they are feasible in Kenya at the moment, but they can work. If whatever we have now have problems, we need to sort out this problem now instead of bringing more problems from outside. After the interviews are over on 22nd July, the panel will forward the recommended names to the president for appointment. Caroline Tuma, Switch TV. Thank you, Caroline Sime.